Will Mass Effect 3's multiplayer be a welcome addition to the series, or will it be a blemish on an otherwise beloved franchise? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dan with WatchMojo.com, and today we're speaking to Dorian Keekin of BioWare Montreal about Mass Effect 3's multiplayer. Multiplayer is basically the, the best way to present it. It's all tied to something which is called Galaxy at War. And the best way to visualize Galaxy at War is imagine a World War II map, you know, where you can see different territories that are being gained by one or the other. In multiplayer, what will happen is you'll wage war across the galaxy, and this will help you increase your readiness rating, which is basically, you know, reducing the foothold of the Reapers on different territories. So this is how we're introducing multiplayer within the game. Uh, multiplayer is full player co-op type of game, and basically what you're doing is you're being dropped into different missions where you need to hack computer, when you do defense again, multiple waves of enemies, and so you, all together you're trying to increase this sort of, you know, uh, readiness ra rating into the war, you know, on the galactic stage. I would say that the biggest change between single player and multiplayer is the fact that single player you're playing Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard is a human. Once you're in multiplayer, you're just playing squads or waging war, so you're not forced to play only a human, you can play actually different races also as well. Will multiplayer games affect everybody's game who plays or just the, the game of a single host? Every game is affected. Okay. And, and the way Galaxy at Works function is it's tied both in single player and in multiplayer. So the way it function is, in order to guess the best ending of a game or some of the best ending, obviously you have the galaxy in, a, I cannot say a good shape because it's never in good shape with a Reaper invading, but you know, kind of have the resistance being strong. There's two ways to achieve that. Either you're doing, you know, full completionist work for a single player by, you know, gathering assets in different planets, doing all the sort of different side mission elements to be able to have a really strong army against the Reaper. Or you're playing multiplayer to obtain exactly the same result. Or you can play also a bit of both, you know, it's, it's really your choice. So basically, will be from single player point of view or multiplayer point of view, everything is tied in directly in your game. Say I'm a bit upset that I've heard that Mass Effect will have multiplayer because I think that you've split your development team up into two up into two different categories and that that's going to dilute from the single player uh, experience that didn't need multiplayer. Which is not the case because we build up Montreal Studio to be an even bigger studio to be able to do multiplayer, right? So right. basically all the original team is non-affected, right? So we haven't like been diverging any form of resources. We've been more adding resources to do something more actually. So I think one of the other potential worry has been how it's, it could be tacked on. Uh, and right. I think that the Galaxy at War is exactly the answer to that. The tie-in is very natural. And to be honest, multiplayer is not something new. Like, Bauer is thinking about it, or in the previous game. It's just that uh, we did not want to add it as an add-on that didn't make sense. As now it's the full Galactic War, it makes just, from a story point of view, it's very logical to have actually that feature. Thanks a lot, it's been great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.